Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aussie Drives. I hope you all are doing fine and we just dive right into the topic because currently the car world is going crazy presenting car after car. Now, what is the topic of today? Today's topic is very simple. Maybach Mercedes brought out a new car and I'm not really a fan of it. Now, let me explain to you why. The thing is this, while the car looks absolutely phenomenal, I still have a problem with it and it is a base SL63 that they choose to make a luxury model. Now the thing is this, up until today an SL was always a boss car, okay? An SL was Aura 1000, right? To talk in the youngsters terms today, it was a car for somebody to look up to. But with the latest SL it doesn't look that way anymore. It doesn't have that yacht feeling that boat feeling, it much more feels like this brand new BMW M2. It became a proper sports car. Now for some of you that might sound a little bit strange because it's an SL, but it is that way. I drove it, I can tell you from first hand experience. It doesn't feel like a boat anymore. It doesn't feel like a car that you would take for a weekend drive. It's a proper sporty car. Wouldn't say it's on, on a Porsche level, but God damn it, it's really fast. It actually is really, really fast. And that's the main thing with it. Now, when Maybach builds a car, they should build a car that is already crazy, okay? That is already a boss car. They just make it even more boss, right? And the cli clients of Maybach are always interested in getting something exclusive, something that other people cannot get. Now, the new SL design from Maybach looks very nice. I think what Maybach has done to the car is very good. They changed the colors, they changed the wheels, forged wheels, 22 inch, very beautiful chrome extensions and elements, side skirts with chrome, a bonnet that they stripped off completely with original color, made a black coat on, a second part of the color, put on Maybach logos and actually had to do some of the things by hand. Now this is very interesting. Then you have a beautiful separation liner in the middle, a chrome liner, which also looks nice adds a little bit to the exclusivity. They changed the whole layout of the car and made it a two-seater, which is also interesting, which I also like. I mean, the attention to detail that they used is very nice. Now, one problem with the SL, the proportions of the new SL are not correct for such an exclusive and Maybach car. The front part, the front part is a little too short. The greenhouse is a little too long. And then the rear is okay, right? The rear is not that bad, short rear, it's typical. But the bonnet, the length of the front portion of the A portion of the car is just too short. For that boat feeling, you need a little bit more bonnet, right? A little bit more width. For example, like the old SL63 head. I mean, the old SL63 was probably not even bigger than the new one, but it seemed like it was five and a half, five and a half meters long, just because of the sheer presence. Now with the latest model, they don't have that anymore, man. So that is the problem with the new car. Now, what have they also done? And here comes a big but. Now, another problem with it is very simple. The engine decision. It's called SL680, which would let you assume that it's a V12. Nope, guess what engine there is. It's the four liter M177 engine, which AMG uses in every single sports car that they have. And now comes the big problem. It's a sports car engine. It's so aggressive. It's so fast. That thing is flying, man. It's not an Maybach engine. And you know what they had to do? They had to muffle the exhaust sound. They had to damn the interior some more so you don't get disturbed by this massive thing. Now that is a big problem. They could have just used the 4.8 liter from the S500 from the previous generation, maybe tweak it a little bit so it has 550 horsepower and use that instead because that one has a mighty feel. You know, it doesn't accelerate that aggressive, it doesn't have an aggressive response. But instead of doing that, they went with one of the most aggressive race engines that they have to offer currently. So I don't understand that, I really don't. I think it's for saving money. Colors are incredible. I love that beautiful grenade red. It looks phenomenal. The seats, the Napa leather, the white interior, very beautiful. Everything very nice, really. The rosé gold accents, it looks phenomenal. It's just that thing that I don't understand. Now, would you go up to your child and say, wow, I have dreamed of owning an SL Maybach? I don't think so, man. 
But would you go and say Maybach 57 Coupe? Oh my God. Would you go and say Maybach S680 Cabriolet? I, I think so. I think you would do that. I'm getting goosebumps thinking of those cars. So you tell me. Another thing I want to talk about is people assume I hate Mercedes. I don't, man. I don't hate Mercedes. In fact, I have a new car that you should check out. Link in the description. But it's just, uh, I don't know, man. I'm kind of sad for, for everything that is happening currently. Yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. Comment below. If you like this format, make sure to write me a comment. Like the video. Subscribe, friends. Thank you very much. And see you on the next one. Goodbye.